Chris, when we spoke pre-match, you talked about seizing those big moments. When you look back on this game, was this where those big moments were missed and perhaps there was a bit of naivety? Is that the story of this match? Yeah, I thought they've got experience in, in, in the ranks and even late on seeing the game out or getting over the finishing line, which they did pretty comfortably in the end. But big moments is not always in possession. I mean, you'll obviously talk about you know, two or three chances that we've had, but the big moments are, you know, um, when we don't play quick enough, when we gave, give away a ridiculous opportunity to get punished, which they obviously did, uh, and, a, and an header at a set, set play. I mean, we can't. The game's hard enough. The game's hard enough for us in the Premier League. The game's hard enough for us in the Premier League when, we, when we're not getting results that we want and we can't make it even harder, which, we, which, we're, which we're managing to do at the moment. Um, I believe we, we, we could get a result here. I mean, and people might think I was crackers, um, but I think there was a result in us tonight. Um, but ultimately, um, those big moments like you've talked about, uh, we've not taken and, um, and, and they have and, and obviously it looks a pretty comfortable scoreline in the end. VAR saved you for that first penalty incident. Yeah. The second one, I suppose you can't really grumble about, but what did you think when you saw it? Was that, again, just a naivety? It was just sort of not quick transition enough and just sort of gi giving the ball away? Yeah, I mean, I said all along you give the ball away, you know, cheaply to, 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 to good players. They're either going to punish you by sticking it in the back of the net or they're going to keep it away from you for 20 minutes. I wouldn't say, um, es well, escaped on the VAR. If it's a decision made by VAR, then it's a great decision made. <laughs> we'll, 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 uh, we'll hold on to anything on that, but obviously it wasn't a good start from us. But then you're right, we didn't play quick enough. The times where we, where, we, where we overloaded, we didn't play with that freedom, we didn't play quick enough, we didn't risk, and we, it was slow um, and uh, allowed them to get back in numbers, which they're very good at. Um, and then it comes back to Ole, who's obviously slack pass, and then, then from that they've got players that can hurt you on the counter-attack. They've got speed and energy and pace and... Um, and then, you know, um, the challenge, obviously, is, is one that de determines the, the, uh, the penalty. And, obviously, Declan stuck it away pretty comfortably. And I thought we were, we were, we were in the game. I thought we, we started OK. But from nothing, really, at, what, 39 minutes, 40 minutes, we're 1-0 we're, we're, we're down. And um, a phrase that I've used quite a lot this year, architects of our own downfall. And, um, and first goal, yet again, in the Premier League, like we talked about, is hugely important. And we're chasing... But the second goal, yet again, is, is, um, is avoidable as well from our point of view. Just a quick one on John Egan. Is he OK? Well, it didn't look too good, did it, um, with him coming off on, a, on, on the stretcher and I think he's on crutches now. So uh, that caps, up, caps a, a miserable night for us. Um, you know, I've been, I've been quite happy in terms of the progress we've made since Christmas and, you know, a, you know, a few of the results have been, you know, some couple of fabulous results and some decent results and performances, but... I think we've took a big step back tonight, which is really disappointing because we can't, we can't um, afford to take any steps back in the position that we're in. Um, and, uh, and honestly, we have. And, uh, and we need to recover, obviously, pretty quickly.